and uh, folks like toys. Um, they're not just for kids, they're for everybody of all ages, you know, sizes, it doesn't matter. So if you're feeling a bit shy, as long as you got an inner child still in you, you can come on up and hopefully uh, we can teach you a couple things, you can teach us a couple things. So if you still got a couple minutes to come up, find a spot, we still got lots of tools here laid out. Um, so yeah, feel free, come on up. So I'm just going to give anybody else just a minute that is still maybe thinking about it coming up because uh, we definitely use a few more people. Yeah. So don't be shy, guys. I'm horrible at hooping myself. I leave it up to the ladies here. So, like, you can't do as bad as me. I guarantee you. Just doing it. Yeah, yeah. You guys definitely busted some moves. What about anybody in the audience? Who's Hulu here for? Anybody? None of you? You do? You do? Okay, we have a few of you. Absolutely. Hulu is really fun. Uh, it's part of the flow arts. Flow arts is uh, it's, it's, a, it's a term used for like intersection of like body based uh, uh, movement um, skills, like juggling and, and you know, spinning staff or, or baton and, and such things, you know. And, you can also uh, find a lot of these skills used in the circus. Um, but what we're focusing on is hula hoops and, and boy today. So what we're going to start off with is waist hooping. Everybody's done waist hooping, right? Yeah, you, you, you hula hoop around your waist. All right, let's go ahead and pick up our hula hoops and give it a shot. Let's see how good we can do. There you go. You watch Callie over here and you watch Jade right over here. They're going to help assist you and show you just a couple techniques to make things a little easier uh, as we progress from trick to drink. There we go, there we go. You're all pretty natural at it. And also, depending on what move you're really going for with a hula hoop, also depends on the size too. Sometimes the, the, the bigger hula hoops um, that are much wider, a little heavier, it's a lot easier to do things like waist hooping with because it doesn't move as fast. But if you use like a really small hula hoop, you have to move your hips super, super fast just to get it going and it's very, very tiring. <laughs> so we're just going to keep doing this just for a couple minutes. But also, uh, who has any ideas of what else we could do with a hula hoop? What about you? What else do you think we could do with a hula hoop besides waist hooping? Where else can we hula hoop on our body? Anybody? With your leg? Alright, let's see it, let's see it. I'll definitely try with the smaller one though. Alright. If we watch Callie here, she's hula hooping around her legs, like so. Also, you can skip with it too. Yeah, I can't do that either. <laughs> so, so don't feel bad if you can't do it right now. But also, you can even stick your leg out and hula hoop that way also. If you got the balance for it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. If you guys want to go ahead and try some arm hooping, that might be able to be a little easier at first. So if y'all just want to stick your arm out like that, and there you go. It's pretty easy to get hang of it. Also, neck hooping, right? You can't neck hoop. Well, sometimes it's easier to neck hoop if you just like look at the ground and bend over and then you can do it vertically. Yeah. If you look at Jade right over here, she can uh, show you that way of doing it. But also you can do it um, standing straight up too. Horizontal. This one is a little more tricky though. I definitely start off with the way Jade's doing it. 
No? That's pretty hard. I'm not that good at it. I should practice for myself, though. Now, see, yeah, it's easier with the big one. Like I said, you know, weight, weight and size definitely makes a big difference in the hula hoop. Has anybody ever wondered where hula hoops come from? No? Okay, well, I'm going to tell you anyway. Yeah, so seriously, hula hoops were like a big craze back in the 1400s, which was a long, long time ago in Europe. But like, unfortunately, people made them out of like wood and weeds and like thickets and stuff. And some even made out of metal. But people were like really into it, it's super popular. So that's what they did, they had a lot of fun with it. But uh, there were a lot of injuries because, you know, it's made out of wood and metal. <laughs> just they had their heads full, so we're good at that.